outthinkingparkinsons.com. Hi, this is Dr. Gary Sharp. It's 5 p.m. on the 7th of January 2016. I'm now in the state of bradykinesia, the lowest point of the my Parkinson's cycle. This means that essentially my muscles are stiff and I'm almost immobile. It's very hard to move. The brain signals to, for movement don't seem to be connected to the body. So with my partner, Deb Helfrich, we've been experimenting on ways in which movement could be easier under this condition. So for example, if I try and pick up a jar in the normal way, it's very hard to get my arms up very high indeed. It takes a lot of concentration. And I can't get my right arm up high enough to lift the jar up enough to be able to twist the lid off. And the twisting the lid off motion is quite hard as well. And all these sort of motions in which, which we're familiar with, which we've been doing all our lives, it seems this is, this is part of the problem, that movement which is stored in memory are very hard. But if you do something that's, that's a new kind of movement, or do movement in a different way, so, for example, this. That's easy for me. And it's also... Also, with, with, I'm finding that if I use change my hand shapes, so instead of instead of a normal, so my hand is quite locked in that position. But if I if I if I do something unfamiliar like that, and then do the movements, I find that much easier because it's it's it's, it's not a stored memory; but it's, it's a kind of new movement. So so that is much easier. We're making a different hand shape. Let's try the jar again. So now I've got to take the lid off. So that the other the other thing we've been working on is is coming at things from a different angle, not trying to familiar our ways of moving but trying to find a different way of coming to the same point with a different kind of movement so here I find if I go over and down a very exaggerated movement and I can get my hand where it needs to be now I could try and twist the, the, the jar lid off by rotating my wrist and hand but that's that's a lot of movement so again thinking of it a different way what if I just use this one finger and thumb just to make small movements at a time to turn that lid until the lid comes off. Come in now, look. There you go. So what about getting a tea bag out of this tea jar? If I try and get my hand up there, it's quite hard. But again, if I just do a completely different movement, Come over and above, take the tea bag out. Again, I'll pick up the lid. Over and above. Now I can think about having a cup of tea, which would be very hard to make. Through, through movement that we're very familiar with. So, so we think that there's all, all sorts of the, the kind of movements that, which are difficult with Parkinson's, the things we've learned, like walking. So to get walking going, I actually lift my arms up and let them drop into gravity, and then I find I can suddenly move, I can suddenly walk, because it's a different type of movement that set, set the kinetic train of my body off. So again, if I try and walk now, I, I will, I'll really shuffle around. But if I get this movement going, through lifting my arms, I'm just letting them drop into gravity and give me, turn myself forward a bit. I'm still shuffling, but it's easier. And if I really try, and I can actually sw even swing my arms. Now, swinging, sw the swinging of the arms is one of the things that, that's one of the first symptoms of Parkinson's. You, 
your arms don't swing at all when you walk, and you can notice that in a lot of Parkinson's sufferers. So I found that if I can just get going by letting gravity drop drop me shoulders, I can actually walk with a bit of swing to my arms like normal. And once I stop, it, I have to start again. But if I can get going, and my arms are loose now, my arms are loose. So this is this is only the second day we've been looking into this, but there seems to be some hope that, although it's not a cure for Parkinson's, it, it may, by rethinking how we move and try and say get up out of a chair or get up off the, off the sofa, all sorts of things. We're finding it's much easier to just to try and move in a completely different way than what we've remembered doing. So stay tuned.